Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like and subscribe if you like the content. So here we are, we're back working with enemies and all that stuff. Um, and I had forgotten, to be honest, all this stuff. How it saved and loaded tile maps and, and tiles and everything. Uh, but just to, to, you know, for a quick recap, let me just go through it really quick. So the way it works is tile map keeps track of all the tiles, right? So uh, the way we save the tile map right up here somewhere is that the tile itself kind of controls what it saves or not, right? And the loading is the same thing, kind of. Uh, we kind of grab everything from the file and just put it into a, a new tile. But here's where a little problem comes in because... It, our enemy spawner is a completely different type of tile so we're probably gonna have to make an if statement here and that's not something I like to do since this can get really big for loading but you know we're gonna have to do it eventually um, or if we maybe make a little function to just check the type and just call that in here one or the other we'll do that eventually uh, but anyway so that's how that works so to see what is saved uh, we have to go into the tile CPP where we can see get as string is just going to give everything out that uh, that it has, right? So what we need to do before we start with anything is that our enemy spawner is going to have to copy all this stuff. So I'm going to make that virtual, all right? Everything else, you know, might as well make it virtual because we might want to overshadow that later. Uh, get type will keep that this will keep everything else is virtual all right that's cool um, so that's good that's good step number one complete okay the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're actually going to have to uh, right here I think in the tile map.h file include enemy spawner because we want to be able to create those right enemy spawner Okay, so here we go. Now we include an enemy spawner here. Um, and if we open the CPP file, we should be able to check what tile we're loading. Now just to recap again quickly, if I open my map file, you'll see that all of this is saved for one tile. Okay, it's a bunch of stuff. And it might be different for different tiles, right? The amount of data saved. So we, we're, we're going to have to kind of keep track of what we're loading in um, and make sure that the type that is loaded is always at the same spot and it's never changed because as soon as we get the type, um, we'll know what we're trying to, what we're trying to get. So my idea is to get type and put type first in these files so that first of all, we check what type it is. Okay. Then we'll know what type of loading we're going to do for that tile. All right. Or we could do this, get all the stuff and check type in here. And if it's not a type, we'll get more data, basically. So we'll we'll figure that out. But right now, we just this video is just going to be about setting that up so we can get ready to work on it. Um, but that's probably what we're going to do. One of those probably put type first. That's the most efficient way. So we're going to do that um, anyway. Before we do, before we do, I like I said, I had to include that there, and then we have to just check what kind of data this is taken here. So enemy type, and just clean this up a little bit because I think it takes grid size enemy type. This is where all the new stuff comes in. These three things are the new ones. So I'm just gonna make sure that's correct tile okay so right there that's all the new stuff um, and that's good okay all right so let me just go ahead and open editor state CPP like that and H and just get ready for that okay guys I think we're gonna have to change this up quickly um, 
Yeah. I need to think how I'm going to do this. Well, you know, we're going to have to make a new map for this, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Let's make a new while. Loop in file type. Okay, so we're going to get the type first. So once we get the type, then we're going to check what we're going to get. Uh, 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 and then we're going to check here if type equals tile types enemy spawner. All right, then we're going to do something special. Then we're just going to get the in file. And remember now types not going to be saved here. So we need to change this up. See, we got to do a bunch of changing stuff and figure it out. So how do we save things? First of all, we got to have to figure this out. Um, what happens is we save all of this and then we save the get as string. So we're going to have to change the get as string right here. So type is going to be first. Okay, and then tile specific. Tile specific stuff is below this. This is all general tile stuff. Okay, so all right, cool. Now if we go into tile.cpp and we just go down to where we send stuff here, what I want to do is this type is first. Okay, before we get the texture rectangles and everything, I just want to remove that and all of this and copy one of these. I think it should be like that, right? No, it was the other way around, of course. Okay, so we got the type and then everything else. That means we can read the type first directly. Um, so having that done, we can go back into tile tile map and just make sure okay so it's gonna save that first good stuff and we'll go down here after getting all of this sorry I just have to recap in my head I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to try to get in on this okay so once that's done I'm gonna save all those things and then I'm gonna save more things this is gonna be the tile specific stuff and then I'm going to define those in here. All right, now we have to go in and check what those are. So those are going to be enemy amount, enemy time to spawn, enemy max distance. I'm just going to open that up right there in case I need to check that out. So first of all, enemy, oh, God damn, amount, uh, enemy time to spawn. Time to spawn. I'm just going to call it TTS, all right? And then, whoops, it days. Time to spawn enemy max distance. E MD. All right. So there we go. Amount time max dist. Just so I know what the hell they mean. All right, so we're gonna get those in here, and then I'm gonna actually enemy am enemy tts enemy md. Okay. Um. So that's good. That's very nice. So once you get those read in, whoops, shouldn't be like that. Like that. There we go. So once those are read in we'll be able to make a new tile new enemy spawner okay and instead of type here we want type here now because we want it all to kinda work together okay so alright okay sorry about that just give me a second alright let's let's just go ahead from the start let's go to tile.h and let's just grab type Okay, let's just grab type. Now, the th reason I put type here was actually, but you know what? We don't need that anyway. Let's just remove the default parameter. 
Uh, so we get to type first. Okay, something like that. So the type is first. In uh, this part right here, we need to put type first. Hope you're following me here. I'm sorry if it's a little fast. I just just going through this. So what I did was this is basically move type from the last parameter to the first. Very easy. And uh, same thing for enemy spawner. Okay, so what we need to do is just grab the enemy type. No, that's the enemy type. Yo, what? No, wait, what? Oh shit. Okay. You know what? We don't need type in here. Damn. Enemy spawner, bro. Title and title types enemy spawner. Oh yeah, I just send that in. Straight up. Straight up. Tile types enemy spawner in the front here. Remember that? Okay, that's enemy type shit. Okay, but we're good now. We're good now. So let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, slowly. Let's go back. So type. We don't need type. God damn, we don't need type. Collision we do need. Now we need, now we need mm, enemy amount, enemy PPS, enemy MD. Okay. And for some reason it's not working. Let's check. Let's double check. So X, Y, grid size F texture okay texture rectangle good grid size okay don't have grid size here for some reason uh, grid size how do I load that grid size F wait what wait what grid size F what why is that there are you serious what okay hold up I think I messed something up okay enemy spawner we need to remove this grid size crap are you serious I already have grid size F what am I doing what am I even doing bro oh shit okay all right so we removed grid size F from here obviously I was dumb to have might not be able to see this properly, but let me just show you quickly. All right, that's how it is right now. That's how it looks. So we removed grid size, the duplicate grid size. And then we go back again here. This is what you got to do, sadly. All right, this is what you got to do. Uh, sorry about the sounds. Okay, so so let's get back to it. Grid size F. All right, man. I know you have a bike, dude. Chill, chill. Relax, piece of shit. Okay. We, we put false here. Right. Uh, let's see. Wait again. Hold up. I'm sorry. Okay. I should have thought this through a little more. Uh, collision is false. Okay. We set that to false. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sorry about that. So it's already false. So we don't need to send in collision here. At all. Whew. Okay. We don't need collision. We don't need collision. Mm, so I'm going to remove collision because we're not going to be saving that for this. And in file XYZ AM as a XYZ. Okay. Now XY. The tile sheet, the texture rectangle, type, enemy type, enemy type, okay, enemy type, and we're going to have to get that as well, enemy type, okay, there you go, all right, all right, all right, all right, so, so we're good. Pretty much good to go. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put a semicolon right there. 
we're going to go up and we're going to look at this and we're pushing back a tile and the type should be first see we're going to have a bunch of these problems so we're going to we're going to go through them uh, that's type going back here tile putting type first uh, type okay type getting type first um, oh well that's already done right so what we have to do here is we need to kind of control X that we'll just grab this and we need to make an else in here right below this statement we're just gonna paste that there okay and we're gonna grab this while loop thing and we're just gonna put it right here okay and that's going to grab everything for us. And we're going to remove this while loop because we don't need it anymore. So this is going to depend on what type of tile it is. Okay, so it's very basic. Probably not going to work just yet. Going to have to keep working on this. Uh, but these are the things that we need to load in. So pretty much set up, I'd say. The only thing we need to do now is to go into enemy spawner, overshadow that function right here and uh, where is it enemy spawner H oh here it is okay so we need to overshadow that function that we call in tile called get as string so I'm just gonna copy that put it right in here get as string remove the virtual if you want and just define that and once you have that now you can decide how things are going to be saved, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to just copy stuff from here right now. Okay, just copy the whole thing. Put it in here. Okay, because this is how I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to choose how I'm going to save stuff. All right? Eventually, I'm going to choose what I'm going to save. Now the enemy spawner always needs to save the type and its rectangle thingies and everything. And probably not collision as we decided but everything else is gonna be decided in the next one alright this is just the setup I'm sorry for a little slow video I was kinda of confused as well but hopefully you understood what was going on in worst case go ahead and check out the uh, uh, github and try to see from there but basically everything we did just today just to recap is make sure our tile map can load and save first of all save uh, no, sorry, first of all, load just in the right format and that the uh, enemy spawner is in the right format to be saved as well. All right, and the next one, like I said, we're going to try to work on the actual saving part. And it's going to take a while. We're going to have to make some new maps. The old map is RIP, but it's going to be cool. All right, sorry again for the long one and for the weird video, but thanks for sticking with me. For those of you who did, take care. I'll try to make it better in the next one. So, yeah. Keep working hard. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.